If you've been using ChatGPT, then you know that the latest data I can pull is from 2021. But with this cool plugin that I'm going to show you today, you can actually access full up-to-date information in ChatGPT itself. It's very nice. Let me show you how it works. First thing you have to do is go to the Chrome Web Store and search for WebChat GPT, ChatGPT with internet access. That's the plugin. It has 400,000 plus users. As you can see over here, it has very nice reviews and it's totally free. So quickly install it into your Chrome and now let's go into ChatGPT itself. The plugin will be linked down below as well if you want to get it quickly. But now that we are in the ChatGPT website, you can see that we have this new toolbar below. So it has web access, it has results and the time frames over here. We're not going to touch anything right now and we're going to test that, you know, it does not actually fetch the data from later than 2021. So we're going to ask a question about the World Cup. So let's say who won the World Cup 2022? And it's not going to know the answer because it cannot fetch the data that far away. So as you can see right here, it says, I'm sorry, but as an AI language model, I do not have access to information from the future. The World Cup is scheduled to take place, blah, 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 blah. So it does not know the answer. But if we enable this web access, it can actually fetch the data from the present. So we enable this and we ask the same exact question. Who won the World Cup 2022? And now we wait for the answer and you'll see that it will actually know it. And as you can see, it's given us the answer. Based on the provided search results, it appears that Argentina won the World Cup 2022. And then it says, according to 1-2, Argentina beat France, whatever. It knows the answer. So you can literally get all the full up-to-date information using this plugin and just master ChatGPT now. So the things we can change around here are these results. You can add more results if you want. Right now I have three results. So it gives us one, two, and three over here. It gives us the current date of the info. And you can change it to any time, past day, past week, past year, whatever you want. You can change the region even if, if you want. I'm not sure what that's for. But we're going to go with any region because, you know, we we're not going to be only in one region for specific information. Another question we can test this AI with is the Hogwarts Legacy game. It's got a lot of controversy around it. It came out this year, so we can ask this question and you can see that it's not going to know the answer. But if we enable web access, it will give us a proper answer right here. So you can see Hogwarts Legacy is an upcoming action, a role-playing video game developed by Avalanche Software and published by Warner Bros. Games. And then it gives us whatever, you know, the info about the game. As the game has not been released yet, it is difficult to determine whether it will be good game or not. So it doesn't know the answer because the game technically didn't come out for, you know, from this uh, info from 2021. So we're going to stop generating. We don't need this rest of the answer. And now we're going to enable web access and we're going to copy paste the exact same question. Is Hogwarts Legacy a good game? Paste. Now we wait it out and boom, it gives us the web search results with the three results that we enabled over here. It may not be the most impressive technical achievement and it is certainly cursed with a lack of enemy variety, but none of Hogwarts Legacy issues can cast a the Sendo charm on this. So it gives us like these web search results and then around the web search results, it gives us the summary of your question. So it says based on the available, you know, it kind of repeats and then it says a review on IGN states that the game has issues with technical achievements and a lack of enemy variety. But overall, it is fun and enjoyable experience. So you can test this out. You can do whatever you want with it. It is very, very cool, very unique. And now you can expand to, you know, more and more questions and answers that are up to date and no longer rely on these old 2021 uh, info and not rely on this old 2021 information. I know this was a pretty quick video, but I just wanted to show you this amazing plugin that not a lot of people have been using or been talking about it. And it does help you so much with ChatGPT. If you've come this far into the video, make sure to drop a like. It means a lot to me. It's free. It's fast. Scroll down below, drop a like. And if you don't know already, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my ChatGPT beginner's guide right here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.